All right, the purpose of this video is to quickly show you how to create an assignment in Haiku Learning and then score the assignment in Haiku Learning. Let's begin. So first, you will click on Assess and go to Assignments. And you are going to add an assignment. And you need to give the assignment a title. I'm going to call this uh, First Haiku Assignment. You can connect your standards to give your scores. So I'm going to use writing. You can add as many standards as you want. And then here you can add details of information the students will see about the assignment. So one of the things I liked doing was putting the directions and maybe the rubric I was using to score the assignment in this. I just copied and pasted it. Um, and it does a pretty good job of uh, with the fidelity of, of what we copied and pasted. So the students will see this when they see their assignments. Um, this is going to go to all my sections as a default. You can have no due date or have a due date. I'll put no due date. Um, and you want this in the Dropbox? Yes, because I want the students to submit it online. And we will attach from Google Drive. So let me attach the file. It is this one right here. I select it. Now it gives you four different share modes. Uh, this is pretty important. If you want the students to take this uh, template and make their own, you will click on read only. And what that will do is the students will get a copy that they cannot edit, but they will have to make a copy of, and then they can start editing it. And when I am ready to add my assignment, I click save. And hey, the class is over. Whoops. Um, and the assignment is there. Now, if we want to see it from the student's perspective, we can go to view as student. And we can see first haiku assignment. I can click on it. And this is what the assignment will look like. You have the information I pasted the general idea of what standard we're doing, when is when it was posted, when it's due, for who is it due, all your sections. Um, I put the rubric I'm using, and students can then click on the attachment. Now, when I click on the attachment, because I'm signed into my own Google uh, account, it's, it's going to look a little bit different. Um, when I'm ready to turn in the assignment for the student, I would click go to Dropbox, just like a mailbox where you put in your completed work. And I would then click on hand in. And well, <laughs> I can't do it because I'm just shadowing, but the student will be able to hand in their assignment. And that's it. Um, if you want to keep watching the video, I'm going to show you another way to make finding assignments easier for the students. All right, so let's go back to the pages. And this is the opening page. One of the things that's really helpful is to, um, well, let's exit the preview, is to create a contact block, a content block where the students can see all their assignments first. So you can add all sorts of content as you know, click on connect and assess, click on assignments, mm -hmm. and you can have a place for students to see your assignments. So please see, new, please, or you could write um, check here to see what assignments you should I don't know you can make it anything you want you could hide the title let's just hide the title um, you can place it I'm gonna place it right there uh, let's search for existing so I want the students to be able to see this in that block and I will save and so let's see this from the student's perspective. And okay. 
And so here you get a chance of this is an assignment that's coming up. And if they click here to hand it in, they can go directly to the place to hand it in. Um, if you want to put a title here, um, you can do that as well. I mean, you can, you know, the thing about haiku is you can trick things out in so many ways. Um, it's going to look, you can make it look any way you want. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate to ask. Have a great day.